Traveling New Zealand by car or camper van gives you the ultimate freedom to go where you want, when you want, and allows you to truly tailor your trip to your needs. However, there are loads of little things that can make the difference between a huge road trip full of excitement and a sand counting nightmare. We'll go through all of that in this video on 21 ways to save money on car and camper van rentals in New Zealand. Robin and Laura, the team behind BackpackerGuide.nz, helping you plan an epic trip to New Zealand. In this video, we're giving you exactly 21 ways to save money on car or camper van rentals. You will find that prices differ widely between rental companies due to a variety of factors. On top of your base rental rate, all the little extras add up at the end of the road trip, and sometimes the cheapest option is not necessarily the best option. So stick around until the end of this awesome tips list so you are well prepared to compare your vehicle rental options. And by the way, our first tip should be to hit the subscribe button. We publish heaps of tips every week to help you make the most of your trip in New Zealand. So go ahead and hit the red subscribe button below this video right now. And with that, let's get on with the video. Number one to save money on rentals in New Zealand, travel the shoulder and off seasons. It's pretty obvious, but in summer, everybody wants a camper and in winter, well, the demand is much lower. May is traditionally the cheapest month to hire a vehicle in New Zealand across the board. As well as car rentals being cheaper in the shoulder season, the nature is more lively and the crowds are in the Northern Hemisphere. It's literally like having the whole country to yourself. Book your car rental between March and October and you are likely to pay 30 to 50% less. For more reasons to travel in these seasons, check out our 11 reasons to travel in the shoulder and off season in New Zealand linked up in the description below. Number two, book early. This one comes at no surprise as well. Early booking are often rewarded with early bird discounts or simply a lower overall rate, while last minute booking suffer from the lack of stock and give you less choice for a higher price. Three, book direct. Start your new adventure the simple way and talk directly with your car rental company. Booking directly with a rental company is as opposed to through an agent or a comparison website will ensure that you get the best rates that the company has to offer. If you find the cheapest rate elsewhere, chances are the rental company will match it. This advice is true for every type of travel booking from hostels to activities to transportation. Get more advice on the subject in our booking advice article in the description. Number four, play around with your booking dates. Sometimes there will be one or two days on either side of your preferred booking date that are cheaper. Make sure to play around with your booking dates to find the best combo of dates that will make sense money-wise. Having flexible travel dates can make a real difference to your car rental cost and it also applies to booking your flight, so keep that in mind. Number five, pick the right pickup and drop off time. Some companies will charge you for each extra hour that you keep the car. Some will charge you for an extra day even, and some will not consider the return hour in their pricing at all. This can make a huge difference when picking up your car at 9am instead of 4pm or giving it back at 5pm instead of 10am. Make sure that you consider this when comparing car and cover van rental companies. 6. Pick up your car early when you are ready to drive off. When landing in New Zealand, you'll probably be jet lagged or at least exhausted by the 20 plus hour flight. Make sure to schedule your car pickup for when you are ready to drive off, let's say 11 a.m. the next morning. This can save you at least a day of car rental with some companies. Number seven, choose a small car. Selecting a small car or camper van can truly make a huge impact on your rental cost. From the obvious fact that they are cheaper to rent to the long-term fact that they use much less fuel, picking a small vehicle is just a smart choice. So sit down and evaluate what you truly need and how big do you really need your car to be. Also keep an eye out for the year and make of the vehicle. An older vehicle will have much higher fuel consumption. For advice on type of vehicle to rent, see our article What are the best type of vehicle to rent in New Zealand and we'll link to it in the description below. Number 8. Monitor pricing regularly. Prices will vary depending on the availability and some routes may even become much cheaper in some seasons. For instance, around the end of the summer, most car and camper vans have been dropped off on the South Island. So picking a route from South to North may save you a few hundred bucks. 
Nine, look out for deals. From ski pass to free cave entries to even 15% off on higher longer than 30 days, there are a lot of kind of deals, especially in the sugar and off season, which again is between March and October. Keep an eye open for what's going on by checking out the blog, discounts, deals, or special tabs of the current company website that you are researching. And even Backpack Garden NZ, where we list heaps of deals. 10. Avoid one-way booking fees. In many cases where hiring a car or camper van in a location and dropping it off in a different location, you'll be charged a one-way fee. Look for a route that doesn't have a one-way fee, for instance when going south to north, or make your itinerary a loop to make a huge saving. Extra tip, we actually compare a few companies on backpackerguide.nz that don't have any one-way fee at all. We we'll link to those comparison articles in the description below. Number 11. Be aware of the youngest driver's age. There is always a limit. From 18 years old, which is the youngest age somebody can hire a car in New Zealand, to 25 years old. The youngest driver's age can impact pricing in two major ways. First, the daily price of the vehicle rental, and second, the daily cost of insurance. So be aware of that when any people are driving in the camper van under 25 years old. We have more information on the renting a car for a young driver linked up in the description below. Number 12. Browse your insurance options. Most rental companies have standard insurance included in their daily rental rates, but will always push for you to upgrade your insurance. Some rental companies have reasonable insurance options, and some even have them capped, so you are not charged for the whole 60 days. On the other hand, some companies have outrageous insurance fees. Include insurance in your consideration when comparing prices. And consider their excess. Is spending an extra $500 really worth reducing your excess from $3,000 to $2,000? No. Keep your credit card policy in mind as well, because many credit card policy include car rental cover. So if you do book with your credit card company, you may just already be covered. Number 13, keep an eye out for an additional driver's fee. One car, one driver. That's the policy for most companies. For some, adding an extra driver simply requires you to fill their details when booking your car. For others, it includes an extra daily fee. Any daily fee added to a rental, as small as it is, can really weigh in on your budget. So keep that in mind when deciding who's driving. Number 14, bring your own GPS. It is common in New Zealand to charge from $5 to $10 per day for a GPS. Although a GPS is incredibly convenient, you can use Google Maps on your phone or download a detailed GPS map of New Zealand from any named brand for just a couple of bucks. You can even buy a suction cup to hold your phone while driving from Amazon for super cheap. A word of warning about using GPS in New Zealand though. Before you set off, take a look at the suggested routes via satellite image just to make sure it's not taking you on any dodgy looking roads. Google Map especially tries to take the quickest route all the time and it's not necessarily the safest. We know this firsthand. Number 15, watch out for all the upgrades. Solar showers, camping chairs, snow chain, all of the upgrades come at a high flight rate or extra daily cost. We recommend skipping them and buying your own from local stores like Kmart or the warehouse. They should only set you back a fraction of the cost that a current company should charge you. You may even be able to sell them back through one of the backpacking Facebook groups that we link up to in the description below. As for the Wi-Fi hotspots, check out our cell phone related articles for big savings. And guess what? They're linked up in the description too. Number 16. Avoid airport pickups. Traditionally, picking a car up at the airport is slightly more expensive than picking it up in a suburb or city location, so double check it when booking your car or camper van by changing your pickup location from Auckland Airport to Auckland City, for example. 17. Remember to refuel the car. Like everywhere in the world, you will pick up a car full of fuel and should give it back full of fuel. Make sure to do so or face being charged with a refueling fee plus the color of fuel. Not a great way to finish your road trip. Number 18, do not fuel up your car at the airport. On the same note as 17, when refueling your car or simply when fueling up along the way, make sure to avoid pump stations located near airports. Those are notorious for having the highest price tag, with some reports mentioning a difference of over 30%. And an extra tip, keep your receipt after going to the supermarket as they usually include a fuel discount voucher that you can redeem at the pump. Number 19, go through the car inspection thoroughly. 
Take the pre-hire car inspection seriously and write down any damage that you notice as you might end up being liable for them when returning your car. Every car rental has a small diagram of the vehicle along with your paperwork where you can mark down what and where you notice damage prior to taking the vehicle for hire. Number 20. Consider car relocation. Car rental is a big business in New Zealand and the vehicle flow is extremely uneven around the country. For this reason, car rental companies need their vehicle moved around the country at a fast pace. They will often offer three days rental plus the ferry cost for those willing to take a vehicle from Christchurch to Auckland, for example. We have a full page dedicated on car relocation in New Zealand on backpackerguide.nz so you can learn more about it. And finally, number 21, travel with friends. A road trip is best enjoyed with a group of friends. Should it be your childhood best friends or the love of your life or a perfect stranger found on one of our Facebook groups. You are bound to create lifelong memories on the road with your travel buddies. Share adventures, laughs and hopefully good music along the most scenic roads of New Zealand while splitting the bills two, three, even four ways so you can spend more on awesome adventures. So that's it for 21 ways to save money on car and campervan rental in New Zealand. We hope it's given you loads of good tips, but if you want to learn more about car rental, check out our car rental video guide linked up in the description below. And also, ask us any questions in the comments, we'll be stoked to answer them for you. And seriously, don't miss New Zealand's biggest gap year where we're doing 365 activities in 365 days in New Zealand. It's the perfect bucket list inspiration and another great reason to hit subscribe. Until next time, keep exploring.